if there is even a glimmer of hope. Ladies and gentlemen, the next voice you shall hear might change your life forever. Please make a place in your life for spirituality, and please welcome at this time, stepping into the spotlight, won't you please make welcome, live direct from the music sanctuary of the Lighter Than Air Ministries. Here he is, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Thanks for that lovely introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and I'm here to tell you about an important report. We just received here at this ministry documentation of some of the problems that were encountered at different marijuana events around the United States and even Europe with the overdosing of edibles. Listen, this is a big problem. I want you to listen up. If you're in the music, if you're in the music, if you're in the marijuana industry, you want to listen to this. This report details Per event, we're having eight to 10 individuals who are at stressed due to the amount of marijuana they've eaten or whatever. This ministry even had the occasion to coax a paranoid young man out of a porta potty, reassuring him that everything was okay and his friends were aware of what was going on with him. And a young Asian fellow who we had a communications problem knew me by my garb and indicated that he felt safe. He saw people looking at him. <laughs> it was a well-attended event. So I'll be reaching out in the next couple of weeks to you in the marijuana industry to please consider signage, consider some sort of warnings so that people are aware of what's gonna happen and they're ready for it, because it's great. Boy, I had a creme brulee that I'll tell you, I'll remember forever. Woo! I'm lucky I shared it with somebody, though. On that note, I also want to thank all the people who are sending the lovely icons to the ministry. During our monthly invocation of music, we present the icons for a contemplative moment, something to sort of focus in on while thinking about the perfect pairing, that being marijuana and music. Ladies and gentlemen, marijuana is a wonderful natural drug that came to us. It was cultivated for us and is here to aid us. When mixed with music, it forms the perfect pairing. Oh, behold the power of music for it is real. But when we blend it with music and marijuana, when we blend that together, what do we get? We get a lovely symphony, a harmony that plays tunes in your head and leaves you fanciful and free. Try it. It can bring down your stress level. It can provide comfort and contentment for some. Some are never content. That's me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale, and I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you at the upcoming uh, uh, marijuana events. Hey, I understand the Sonoma County Growers Alliance, one a great group of people, have a fundraiser coming up. I think it's 80 bucks a ticket, but it's going to be worth it. And that's going to be held on the 30th of September. So if you have any sense, you'll get down there. It's going to be in uh, Santa Rosa at that great hotel, the Vintner there down by uh, Railroad Square. So please, if you support marijuana, you support the people who grow it, go on out to their fundraiser. I hope to be there too. Chaplain Hale saying good night. See you again soon. And when you go through life, I hope you know mercy. And when it's time for you to go, I hope you go with grace. Good night. Thank you for listening to our weekly moment 
of reflection and celebration, the spiritual side of cannabis. On behalf of this ministry of service, the Lighter Than Air Ministries, we say thank you for listening. Please join us again next week. Good night, and may you go with grace.